networks have many pros and cons. The pros are mainly sharing. So you can share information. You're able to collaborate with other people, like on a group project. We're able to share hardware, things like sharing printers and scanners that are on a network. So not everybody has to have their own. Sometimes we share software. And it definitely enhances communications, like by being able to use email. The cons of having a network um, are, one would be loss of independence, meaning you, ad you have to adhere to certain rules on that network. There's also malicious code, meaning you have to worry about hackers trying to get in and, and destroy your, your work. There's network faults, where sometimes we rely so much on a network that if it goes down, we can't do anything. There's also management costs wiring and equipment that costs a lot of money also IT people we have to pay those people to make sure the network is running properly that costs money as well we also have lack of privacy when we're on a network we have to adhere to rules of the IT department and therefore they are they're able to to look at some of our information networks can be classified in a couple different kinds of ways one of which is an intranet. An intranet is designed for the exclusive use of people within an organization. So many people that belong to a corporation will want to access things like employee forms or newsletters or the employee handbook. These are documents or, or handbooks that the company doesn't necessarily want outsiders being able to access. Another type would be an extranet. An extranet is similar to an intranet but it allows specific users outside of the organization to access internal information. So if I own a business and I have information on a particular customer, maybe I want that customer to be able to log on to a website and see the information just about them. That would be called an extranet. Some examples showing would be Amazon.com and Verizon, how you can see your own account information. So the last type of network is the internet. It's the largest WAN or wide area network that is composed of thousands of smaller networks. The web is the most popular service on the internet, along with email. In order to use the internet effectively, we want to be able to transmit and receive data. So we use communication hardware devices. Listed here are a couple of those devices. A modem is what we use to convert analog to digital and we use them over a phone line. The transfer rate is very slow. A DSL line also goes over a telephone line but it's a little bit higher speed. Many of us use cable modems. This is high-speed internet over a coax cable. It's one of those cables that you would see connected to your television. A lot of organizations tend to use T1 lines they have a very fast transfer rate because they use fiber optic telephone lines. For those people who don't have wireless internet, they can use something called a WISP, a wireless ISP. Have you ever seen a USB stick that people use to plug into their laptops so they can get connected to the internet? That's called a WiMAX. Um, I've seen sticks that are from Sprint and AT&T. So you have your WISP that would give you a wide max stick. So let's take a look at this network diagram. We see that there are three computers and they're each built with a wireless card. They connect wirelessly over to their wireless router. Then from the router it goes to their DSL or cable modem. What's most commonly used now is actually a wireless cable modem. So these two are combined into one. From there, that's how we use our internet service provider to get to the internet. So the four main things you would need to connect to the internet in this picture, the wireless adapters for your computers, the sniffer software for your device so that it's able to find that wireless router, then you're going to need a modem, and you can't do anything without an internet connection. So you're going to need your internet service provider, such as Comcast or Verizon, to provide you with the internet connection. 
So this network diagram is a little bit more complex. It's a network diagram for a corporate network. So we'll start out here at the internet. This network is, pro is uh, protected by a firewall. So it means everything on this network is, pro is protected. So the firewall will say yes or no to let certain data in. Then this would be your IT server room. So you could have a print server, or an email server, a file server. These are all servers that would be housed in the IT room. These servers are then connected to access points. So these are wireless access points right here. And they provide a wireless connection to devices all over the building. So this particular computer is connecting to this access point, which is in turn connecting to these servers. Wireless networking, however, has many security issues. Hackers have found it easy to access wireless networks. So before you set up your wireless network, be sure you research security first. So let's pretend that this is good counsel. We have an access point in room 1, room 4, room 5, and room 8. These access points will cover a certain circumference. And we make sure that the circumferences just only will maybe mildly overlap. If they overlap too much, there can be interference. Now, we see that these access points cover the majority of the area. But we need to, what we need to worry about is density. How many users can actually hit only four access points? Not as many as if we had six or eight access points, right? So right now we've got full coverage, but not as many people can use the access points. So an alternative method would be to add more access points so that there would be more folks on the network. But we would have to hone in the circumference area of each access point so that it only covers this amount of space as opposed to this amount of space. <coughs> So instead, we're going to keep these circumference areas smaller. Now notice, we still have the same area covered. All of the classrooms can get connection, but we can actually have more people on this network.